Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free, and for this video, I wanted to cover a few things in regards to the LR Frieza campaign, how to get the mission rewards, things you would want to do, uh, general tips for running the event and stuff like that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, of course, for more content on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. And I want to say that I typically was covering a lot of the campaigns whenever they first started having them for Goku and stuff. Haven't done it as much lately. I know my boy Talon does a lot of them, so go subscribe to Talon if you haven't already. Uh, I should have a link for his channel down below again great friend of mine does a lot of helpful guides and stuff of that nature uh, I've kind of turned into more of like a you know a showcase kind of channel as opposed to guide channel and I don't mind it it's just kind of what has uh, transpired here so as far as this goes I wanted to cover the LR Frieza campaign you have basically a month all just a little bit under a month till the 22nd of uh, next month to get this done so first and foremost do not do this for LR Frieza if you think he's uninspiring right if you think LR Frieza is trash or yada yada outdated what have you don't do it for Frieza do it for everything else <laughs> uh, I'm here to tell you that I really enjoy Frieza I think he's still really good and still very viable and he's gonna be really really good under a higher leader skill uh, type of leader and he's he's worth it technically I mean he's a free 100% LR unit I mean like he's he's worth it you just got to put in the grind right um, but I do know I wanted to point that out because I know there's a lot of people that are gonna be like no nah, I don't want it because Frieza's is trash etc etc um, but you know he's not the best LR in the game anymore but still I would say worth it because again he's acquirable in game you don't have to do anything and at the very least he's a nice box trophy <laughs> so as far as this campaign goes here are all of the rewards they will all be in your mission rewards as well whenever you guys get these completed so in this order if you uh, obtain LR Frieza you get 30 dragon stones so off the bat simply by getting LR Frieza that is a really quick easy way to go ahead and get 30 dragon stones now as far as that goes, you know, you get it by obtaining him. I know that the grind itself isn't necessarily quick, but again, you have a month left, almost a month left. So there's plenty of time, um, you know, and I, I'm going to go, we're going to go ahead and run the stage as well later on. But again, there's plenty of time, 30 Dragon Stones, totally worth it. If you want to hurry up and try to get done so you can get your SSB Vegeta, you know, totally worth it. So aside from that, by getting LR Frieza to SA level 20, you get 10 Elder Kai's. So what happens is with these campaigns, by doing all these little, you know, um, things that you do, I was going to say like, uh, you know, milestones, by doing these milestones, basically, you get your stuff refunded. So basically, they're going to go ahead and give you back the 10 Elder Kai's you would technically use to get LR Frieza from SA 10 to 20. Now, if you're feeling some type of way about that, you know what I'm saying? You could technically profit 10 Kai's by putting in twice the work and getting two Frieza's to SA 10 at LR and then merging them. Again, you have to get them both to LR's, but you do, again, profit 10 Elder Kai's. You don't have to use 10 Elder Kai's out of the bat, off the bat and uh, kind of go from there because I believe there's also an Elder Kai banner live. You can technically, again, do that if you want to pull get Frieza up and then for no cost at all basically aside from I guess the 50 stones you would use for the pull um, you know you get those 10 Kai's back so that's mainly what this is for but again if you're free to play and you have the time and you have the drive I would say probably do it twice so that way you can get the you know the, the 10 Kai's back especially if you have the Kai's already or if you have those funky Kai's the interesting thing about that is if you have the funky Kai's the ones with the, the Grand Kai and you have those from like Broly's Easy A or whatever and you just simply don't even need them you can use them on freeze and get back 10 elder kai's and that's a cool way to actually make a transition from having type restricted kai's to getting kai's that will be work on everybody that'll work on everybody so it's pretty cool um aside from that making freeze 100 percent in the potential system you get two things you get 4350 small orbs 2500 medium orbs and 230 large orbs i believe that's just under how much you would need to 100 percent a unit to be honest uh, I don't have the exact numbers up. In fact, I'm going to pull it up while I talk. You'll also get an LR Ginyu dupe. So that's pretty interesting that they're starting to give us LR Ginyus. Uh, as far as like, you know, the, the tech Ginyu for us, right? Not the physical one. But you do get the dupe there. So that's pretty awesome. How many orbs to 100 LR androids? Let's see how many it says. Hidden potentials. You need um, a grand total of... 4,370 small, four, or 2,475 medium, and 227 large to 100% a unit. That's basically what they gave. That is what they gave, pretty much. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> so 7,000 orbs uh, or so. That's basically what somebody was saying. I thought it was something like that, but yeah, I just pulled that up on the side. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad that they gave it all back. I figured that's what they did anyway. So a couple of things are happening. Um... Because that's what they did for the LR, or LR Goku, excuse me. So they're running the stage every single day. 
make sure you run this again even if you don't care about frieza at the very least this is clutch because you can go ahead and get these orbs and use them to 100 percent other units and the same thing applies to to frieza's potential system like i was just saying a moment ago you might as well 100 percent frieza and then turn around and get those orbs back in 100 percent another unit that's what that's for right they refund you back the orbs as well same thing i was talking about with the kais that's the exact same strategy uh and just a little pro tip from what i've heard around uh you know the internet and reddit and stuff like that you don't even have to get the lr frieza 100 percent it's you can actually do these in increments for example if you don't get lr frieza and you don't get him to sa20 because you don't have the ability to because you don't have lr frieza the tur version getting at 100 percent from what i've heard is all you need to get those orbs so if you just need to do that you know you won't get all this stuff but you can get some of the stuff but again i would recommend getting everything done because you can so Here's LR Frieza's event. So when it comes down to it, there's a fourth stage that I actually have not even run, apparently. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering which stage is better for what, oh, and they're half stamina, that's perfect. I figured it would be, I just didn't want to say that prematurely. Uh, so this stage would be better for metal drops, and this stage would be better for the character drops. This stage should drop characters pretty consistently. I need four for my dupe paths, so we're gonna go ahead and run it. Now, shout out to the boy Gohan here. This Gohan has been incredibly good in this game since his introduction. He's been useful on, um, you know, Extreme Z Awakening. He's got a really solid leader skill. In fact, not only does he have a solid leader skill, he's a category leader. <laughs> so he's really good, and he's been usable in a lot of content. And, and it's interesting to me the way that they've really marketed this Gohan since he's come out. Like, he's been one of the most important units in this game, just in general, as needing him to be able to clear content. So, you know, shout out to this guy. Not to say that you 100% have to have him to do this, but he is the de facto best unit for this run because you can't run anybody that get you get from the Bob shop. You can't run anybody that you get from mission rewards. Only character drops. Again, that is it. There's no tech Ginyu Force you can use, no physical Ginyu Force you can use. None of that. So he is the best leader for this. Otherwise, if you don't have him, LR Goku would be a really good leader. Uh, if you don't have him, then you kind of have to go down the list of like free-to-play units and check out their leader skills. So I don't know off the top of my head. But I will say SS3 Physical Broly would be a really, really good candidate for it as well. But just be aware that if you don't run the Ginyu Force units, which we're going to talk about here right now, you're going to have a decreased chance, as you see, of getting what you want. Because the Ginyu Force units... Uh, apparently specifically these ones because not even physical Ginyu Force. Well, he's from he's from missions Never mind or from a uh, Baba shop So if you don't run these units, you're gonna have a hard time, right? You see the Namek category It's literally these six units. So if you don't have these five units right here It's gonna be a lot harder to farm this event So we're gonna do this and run the event as well and they're going to dramatically increase your drop rate That doesn't mean you're guaranteed a drop or anything like that Just going to give you I believe like a hundred percent drop rate increase or something like that It's, it's wild, right? I don't want to say hundred percent because it sounds like you're guaranteed something and I don't want to give that illusion But I've seen people walk away with four five six drops crazy numbers um, I want to say more more around four. I don't want to exaggerate But um, I've seen somebody drop like four. I think it was Talon actually to be more specific and I've seen people get a lot of medals too. You can get, I believe, a maximum of 30 medals. And I've seen some people walk away with a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and run the stage really quick. We're going to come down this way. And we're going to drop the two. We're going to drop another two as well. And Raccoon's over there. Like, the Ginyu Force is a really good free-to-play team. I really enjoy the integration for them in this game. And if you're wondering about Frieza as far as, like, his viability, I mean, he's great for free-to-play players because he's going to be helpful in you know future events of course because he's a part of this category the namek saga category that gohan has etc etc i had my lrs turned off for that moment but because i wanted to make sure that i showed you guys exactly what you know the cards were but you know as far as this goes when it comes to to frieza the only teams he can really be on viably right now are extreme str and this team so in the future he'll be a lot better now interesting thing here the Jace is showing me that the Frieza will not super in the first slot, so I don't have anything to worry about. Gohan also is the de facto hardest hitting unit on this team for all intents and purposes, especially if he gets a uh, critical hit. So we're going to see what happens here in this scenario. And Raccoon is a very good tank. So 77% to be taking on an older event like this is actually tremendous. I mean, you see how hard a character like Raccoon hits. 77% uh, on the leader skill, again, is actually insane, especially because Gohan crits for... 100 or 1 million almost if you round it up which you kind of technically can't do at that point but you get my point uh he's also extreme z awaken a bull technically so it's like 
there's kind of like no reason not to run this guy, right? If you have him completed, he's just he's too good not to have on the team. Um, I'm gonna put Birder there, and we're gonna give Jace, or excuse me, uh, Birder those. And I was saying I'm gonna put Guldo there, technically. And finally, we'll give you these red orbs, Gohan. I am assuming that we will win this round, of course. <laughs> Uh, Birder needs to have attacked to be able to dodge and stuff, so it's kind of weird. Double attack there. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it, Birder. And Birder, in fact, solos this round himself. He's totally betraying you, Frieza. You need to get him in line. <laughs> All right, so Ginyu is here as well. We're going to use Ginyu and Raccoon and Gohan this rotation. So Ginyu, those are for you. And uh, Raccoon and then Gohan, you can have these blues straight down the middle. And it's possible that Gohan crits, of course, and we finish him off here. So Ginyu doesn't take very much damage. You see how easy this is if you have these units, right? See how easy this is. And for the final bit, I'm going to give you guys a minor guide on how to get these guys because this is another thing I haven't really covered. And again, shout out to Talon because he stays vigilant with this type of stuff. I used to do it. I just, I like the way that my channels handle these days. Um, so I don't really bother with a lot of stuff anymore. Gohan crits, of course for the KO. Let's see what drops you get, but I'm going to show you guys how to get the Ginyu Force members, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on that. So I just got three drops and seven medals in one run. I literally need to run this one more time, because I already had LR Frieza awakened from whenever he first came out a long time ago. So I technically already got my 30 Dragon Stones and stuff, uh, which wait, 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 wait a minute. I should get that LR Ginyu Force dupe, actually. I should have that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and actually pull up that list again that I had on the side. Oh, no, he has to be 100%. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. So, yeah, I literally need to run this one more time and get one more copy. And that's where this is so clutch because for the people that want to run it, you know, I'm not going to guarantee, again, that you'll get drops every run. But for the people that want to do it and try to get two separate freezes up to SA-10 so they can merge them and uh, get that SA-20 and get those free Kai's, then you'd be set, man. If you just run it digitally, you'll be fine. So as far as the Ginyu Force goes, um, they are over here. So on the weekends, they're going to be live at all times. Oh, Super Strike characters. <laughs> I totally forgot these guys exist, man. It's been so long. Or maybe they're over here. Uh, it's been so long since I've had any care in the world for those characters. Um, not seeing them. Maybe I'm just crazy. No, they're not going to be over there. Those are Doken events. In you force. Here they are. They're at the top. I knew they were over here somewhere. So what happens is... On the weekends, every stage is available. Unfortunately, you do not get drops. You can't get the character drops on the weekends. You can only get the medals. But what happens is uh, on the weekdays, they are open weekly um, every day. So the first day, which would technically be Sunday if you're outside of Japan. But Monday in, in the Japanese version of the game, which like I said, is Sunday technically for a lot of people. You have the ability, because it's AGL day, to get Birder. Second day, you have the ability to get Guldo. Third day is uh, Ginyu. Fourth day would be Raccoon, or excuse me, uh, Jace, and then Raccoon for the final day of the week. And that's every single week, as you see right here. That's how you guys go ahead and get these characters, and they're helpful. So make sure if you haven't already done this, get this done, because these guys are very helpful in this game. They've been, again, just like Gohan, they've been incredibly important for this game's transition to being more free-to-play friendly lately. And they have been more free-to-play friendly against cop you know, popular belief, because everybody only cares about stone compensation. For good reason, of course, but they've been trying, and uh, these units are incredibly important. So, anyways, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, of course. If you would like to check out the video showing off Vegeta, 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 times six, basically. Uh, full Vegeta team. It was a lot of fun. It was tremendously fun. Uh, a high, I want to say hybrid Saiyans, pure Saiyans team. Uh, go ahead and click over on the right. Above that, there's a video about Ice Wallenstein in... Uh, Don Machi Memorial Freeze. That's Bay there. I love ice. And then on the left side, if you guys are new again, hit that subscribe button right on your screen. And below that, there's a video recommendation by YouTube or by me directly from YouTube. So have an awesome day and take it easy, guys.